Did you know India has 1500 varieties of mango of which a thousand distinct varieties are produced for commercial production? Well, today I'm going to try four of those varieties. Two years ago, I tried different varieties of mango for the first time in my life because in the Netherlands, we only have one variety of mango. Hi, my name is Ivana and I live in Bangalore. I feel mango season here is almost as important as Diwali. So many people look forward to it so many kids have amazing memories of it actually a lot of adults as well most of my Indian friends love mangoes I love mango so why not try different varieties of mango I have linked the previous episode that I did down in the description below but today it is time to try four more varieties without further ado let's get started on my complete right is a Sindura mango from Laobak. This is the roundest of them all and this is also the only variety that has red on it. This is a variety of mango that resembles the variety of mango that we have in the Netherlands the most. The outside also has a little bit of yellow, a little bit of green, but the inside is completely orange. I am very excited to try this one and see if it kind of compares to the one that we have in the Netherlands. Although I do have to say this one looks quite a lot juicier than what we have. Huh. I think it's the same variety of mango that we have in the Netherlands. I'm gonna make such a big mess of myself, but I've heard that's what you're supposed to do when you're eating mango. Mm. So this one is very creamy. It has a little bit of a carrot undertone, which is one of the reasons why initially when I tried mangoes for the first time, I actually didn't like them because I thought these things like taste like a carrot. But when you let them ripe properly, they get very sweet and they get that real mango flavor. But this one does have that hint of carrotiness. It's not fibery. It is a nice creamy mango. Moving on to the mango next to it, which is by far the largest one of them all and also the only one which is yellow on the inside. The outside is a little bit of a saffron color so it has that hint of orange and there are also a couple of green spots there but maybe that's just because of the ripening process last time i really really liked i think badami mango mmm huh? mmm it's kind of like a pineapple mango Oh my gosh, it's that yellow mango which kind of tastes like pineapple. That one is really good and I hope this one also has hints of that. It's huge, wow. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Mm. I would say the flavor is definitely a little bit more mango with lemon. It doesn't have that pineapple flavor, which I in general like, I think from the badami mango. The mango flavor in general is also quite mild, which I don't like. I like as much mango as possible, but it is not fibery. So I really, really like that. It's quite creamy and it doesn't have a lot of those, you know, like fibers on the inside. Good one, good one. But I do feel this one is lacking a little bit in flavor. And it's not because of the ripening process, because as you can see, it's super juicy. So it's definitely just the flavor that is more mild. Moving on completely to the left, this is the Tassera mango. It is quite green and yellow on the outside, but it is completely orange on the inside. And I can see it's super, super juicy. This one really has a little bit of that almond shape. So a little bit more... How do you say that? Not round, but just more long. <laughs> but it's not as big as Imam Pasant. This is the size of the Imam Pasant, and this one is a lot smaller than that. Let's try this one. It smells a bit like Alfonso. And this is also by far the most deep orange color of all the four mangoes. Oh my goodness, wow. This is almost like eating mango puree. It's that creamy. Whoa. A little bit of acidity, a little bit of sourness. I've been watching Australian MasterChef for too long, so I can kind of describe flavors now. Whoa. Mm. So the texture really comes close to the Alfonso mango, which is one of the most, if not the most popular mango in India. Alfonso mango from Mumbai. Yes, that's right. I didn't just buy it in Bangalore. It came over from Mumbai. Look at this. The juice is literally dripping from the flesh. Everybody's always raving about Alfonso mangoes from Mumbai specifically. So I am beyond excited to try this one. Mmm. Mm. 
Okay, I get why. This is literally the mango flavor that you get in the mango juice that you buy in the store. It is so sweet. It is like the ultimate mango flavor. That one is super creamy, super sweet, extreme mango goodness. And I feel this one has that texture. It's super creamy, it's sweet, but the mango flavor is not like mm, in your face like it is with Alfonso. Nevertheless, mm, good one. Oh my gosh, the shira. Woo -hoo -hoo. The last one, this is the Malika mango. And this is also the only one which is kind of completely orange yellow from the outside but it is orange from the inside this one is also quite large and it also has that more almond shape but it's not as small as the dashera one let's try this mm. this one almost smells like an apple what honestly this one has like massive hints of apple with mango even a peel Smells like apple peel. This is so strange. Okay, the mango is not fibery. It is very creamy. I love that perfect ripeness. As you can see, the cubes are literally falling from the peel. It's, it's so good, very creamy, but that apple scent and also those hints of notes, it kind of throws me off. This would be my least favorite one, simply because if I want to eat a mango, I want to eat a mango and not an apple. Last time the pineapple one was my favorite, but I feel like pineapple and mango are a better combination than apple and mango, right? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys agree? And also, is this also your experience with the Malika mango if you had it? Because apple and mango, it's kind of strange. I would say that my favorite of today would have to be the dashera. It's so insanely creamy. It's nice and sweet, not too sweet. I feel the badami definitely wins over the imam pasan because this flavor is also very mild. I feel this is the mildest flavor of all four of them in terms of like mango flavor. So I... Again, if I want to eat a mango, I want a punch me in the face mango flavor. And then this one is actually quite good. I, I think this one would be my second one. Mm, yeah, I kind of like the sourness of this one, even though it has that carroty undertone, but I do like the sourness in mangoes. I feel it gives a little bit of freshness next to the sweetness that mangoes usually have. See, I've been watching a lot of MasterChef. <laughs> So it would be the Shera number one, Sindura number two, then between these two, yeah, definitely the Imam Pasan number three, and this one Malika four. I am not a fan of that that whole apple mix thing. It, it just doesn't work for me. Guys, do yourself a favor. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to put a thumbs up so I know that you guys enjoy these videos and also comment more varieties of mangoes that I should try down in the comments below. I followed your recommendations from two years ago and I picked these four. Now, obviously I tried to get a lot of mango varieties. I actually ordered eight and only four of them got delivered because we are in a lockdown. So that's why I couldn't try more. If you like it, I will make more episodes but then you need to put a thumbs up also consider subscribing to my channel and joining 227,000 other subscribers you can just click subscribe and then you'll get a notification whenever i upload a new video for now thank you so much for watching this was an absolute pleasure to do and i will see you next time bye